everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d squared plus d plus 1 into y equals to x squared. Firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative here. d squared is the highest derivative. So the order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree is 1. Or just write the given differential equation as d squared y plus dy plus y equals to x squared. We know that d is a differential operator. Then d squared will be d squared by dx squared. Now we can write our given differential equation as d squared y by dx squared plus dy by dx plus y equals to x squared. Here d squared y by dx squared is the highest derivative, so our order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree is 1. Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation. d squared plus d plus 1 into y equals to x square which is an operator form f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square plus d plus 1 and q equals to x squared. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function. We will find yc using the rules of the auxiliary equation of homogeneous or the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply take rhs to 0 then we will get f of d into y equals to 0 which is a homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation and we will find yb using 1 by f of d into q. So here we have q is of x power k form. So our yp will be of 1 by f of d into x power k form, right? Just compare x power k with x square q. Then for k equals to 2, we'll get derivatives of q till d square of q. Okay, and from d cube of q, we'll get the value 0. Or simply in general, we can say d for k of q becomes 0 for k equals to 3, 4, and so on. We'll see this later. Right? And also, we'll write 1 by f of d of 1 by 1 plus x form or 1 by 1 minus x form and later we'll apply binomial series expansion to find yp. So here now firstly we are going to find yc using the auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation of the given or homogeneous equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d d squared plus d plus 1 right let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m squared plus m plus 1 now our auxiliary equation becomes m squared plus m plus 1 equals to 0 now compare this with Quartic equation am square plus bm plus c equals to 0. Now compare the equations. From quotient of m square we will get a equals to 1. And by comparing the quotient of m we will get b equals to 1. Likewise by comparing constants we will get c equals to 1. Right? Now let's use quartic formula m equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a to find roots of 
or auxiliary equation. Then m equals to minus b. We have a, b, c values equal 1, right? Minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 into 1 into 1 by 2 into 1. Just minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 by 2. Just minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 is minus 3 by 2. Now let's write square root of minus 3. Minus 3 as minus 1 into 3. Now we can split the square root of 2 terms. I mean minus 1 into 3 as square root of minus 1 into square root of 3 by 2. We know that square root of minus 1 is i. So let's replace square root of minus i. Sorry, square root of minus 1 by i. We'll get minus 1 plus or minus i root 3 by 2, which is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus or minus i into root 3 by 2. A pair of complex conjugate roots. Then m equals to minus 1 by 2 plus or minus i into root 3 by 2 are the roots of our auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0 which are a pair of complex conjugate roots. We know that a plus ib is a complex number, then its conjugate will be a minus ib, right? If a minus ib is a complex number, then its conjugate will be a plus ib. So we call a plus or minus ib as complex conjugate. So m equals to a plus or minus ib will be complex conjugate roots. Then yc looks like e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx, right? Now let's write complementary function to our problem. y c equals to e power for a equals to minus 1 by 2 will get minus 1 by 2 into x into 1 constant into cos bx root 3 by 2 into x plus another constant to sine root 3 by 2 into x is equals to e power minus 1 by 2 into x is minus x by 2 into c1 cos root 3 by 2 into x is x root 3 by 2 plus c2 sine root 3 by 2 into x is x root 3 by 2 which is our yc. Now let's find yp. We can find yp using 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d, d square plus d plus 1 into q, x square. Let's write f of d in ascending order. Now we need to take the lowest degree term common from all these three terms. So, right, we can write like this. Or we can just write d plus d square as d square plus d. Right? Now this is of, the fraction is of 1 by 1 plus x form. We can write it as 1 plus x whole inverse. Then our yp becomes 1 plus d square plus d 
whole inverse into x square. Now we are having yp. 1 plus d square plus d whole inverse into x square. Let's find derivative of q. Derivatives of q I can say. Derivative of x square is 2x. Find d square of q which is derivative of derivative of x square. We know the value of derivative of x square which is 2x. Now we can write derivative of 2x as derivative of 2 into derivative of x is equal to 2 into derivative of x. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1, so we'll get 2. Now let's find d cube of q. This is derivative of d square of q. We have the value of d square of q which is 2. And we know that derivative of a constant with respect to x, y or anything is 0. So d cube of q is 0. Likewise, we'll get d power 4 of q. 0. d power 5 of q. 0. Right? And so on. So in general, we can write it as d power k of q is 0 for k equals to 3, 4, 5 and so on. Right? So we will get derivative still d square. See here you are having power 2. So we will get derivative till d square or d power 2. Now by keeping this in mind, we'll expand this using binomial series expansion 1 plus x whole inverse is equal to 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus so on, right? Then for x equals to d square plus d just compare 1 plus d square plus d whole inverse with 1 plus x whole inverse then for x equals to d square plus d we will get 1 minus x d square plus d plus d square plus d whole square minus d square plus d whole cube plus so on right now let's expand d square plus d whole square and see what we are going to get we will get d square whole square plus d square plus 2d square into d, right? Forget, forget about this because from here after we are going to get higher pass. Okay, not from here. From here, we'll get exactly higher pass. Okay, if you want, we can check using a plus b whole cube formula. a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. Okay, if you want, we can check minus of d square whole cube plus d cube plus 3d square into d into d square plus d. Okay, which is equal to 1 minus d square plus d plus d square whole square is d power 4 plus d square plus 2d square into d is 2d cube minus d square whole cube is d power 6 plus d cube plus 3 d square into d is d cube into d square plus d. Okay. So here you are having highest power d power 4. And d cube is also highest power. And d cube, d power 6 are highest power. d cube into d power, d square is d power 5. d cube into d is d power 4. See, you'll get highest powers here also. So, we'll take 1, this term, this term and here. Only d square 
from the expansion of d square plus d whole square. Okay. Because we have derivative of uh, d power k of q equals to 0 for k equals to 3, 4, 5 and so on, right? For k equals to 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Now coming to yp, just expand this 1 minus of d square plus d plus d square plus d whole square minus d square plus d whole q plus 1 into q. You know that this term from here will get exactly higher power so we can neglect from here. Okay. Is equals to 1 minus d square plus d plus d square plus d whole square enough. This is square, right? Is equals to 1 minus d square plus d plus expand d square plus d whole square. d square whole square plus d square plus 2 into d square into d into x square. is equals to 1 minus of d square plus d plus d square whole square a power m whole power n is a power m into n 2 2 is a 4 plus d square plus 2 into d power 2 plus 1 3 into x square right now we can neglect these two terms since d power k of q is 0 for k equals to 3, 4, 5 and so on. So, neglect terms from higher order terms from d cube, d power 4, d power 5 and so on. Then yp becomes one minus d squared minus into plus minus d plus d square into x square. So here we are having minus d square and plus d square which becomes, okay, which get cancelled. So 1 minus d square remains in the brackets. You can write it as 1 into x square is x square minus derivative of x square. We have the derivative of x square value which is 2x, right? So therefore, yp equals to x square minus 2x. Now let's write the general solution. The general solution of a problem is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then our solution looks like y equals to, we have yc, e power minus x by 2 into c1 cos x root 3 by 2 plus c2 sin x root 3 by 2 plus yp x square minus 2x. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.